Brian B. with Miss Megan, West Coast Swing Online, and I am answering questions in our Q&A section, and I got a really good question uh, about how do I, basically about leading with the body versus with the arms. And let me say this first. Um, if, I am, if I were to take my body out of the equation, I could do a pretty good job of leading with my arms if I had to, right? So developing the skill of understanding where the lady goes and how to be um, aware of that with our arms um, is a very important thing, an important skill that we have to develop. So early on in my dancing, I was taught to be able to lead a pattern with just one hand, right? Or to be able to lead a pattern with just the other hand, right? So can I lead her with an inside turn with my left hand? Awesome. What if I had to do an inside turn with my right hand? Could I be able to understand that. So that's a good drill in and of itself, is take some patterns that you know and learn to lead them with the opposite hand, and that'll develop some really good dexterity. So I don't think you can completely throw away leading with your arms, because there's some scenarios where I have to extend my arm in a place that my body can't get me to. That being said, there's a lot of scenarios where I can angle my body in a way to lead what I need to lead, right? So if I was in a crosshand situation and I need to dance her into a whip, one, Two, right? As I'm standing here talking to you, I can go ahead and do that with my arm. But if I think about the fact that I need to bring her hand across for one, and then I need to feed it across for two in this scenario, right? Then my body can lead that. So it's not so much where my foot's falling, but where my body is landing. One. So that's nothing to do with my arm. One. Now the fact that I unwind this and step for two is going to cause her to move, right? So with my body, a one two, and then of course she has her three and four. Now if I need to go up and over, I'm going to use my body to lead that, my upper torso to go up and over for five, for five, then I'm going to step where I need to for six, and then we anchor seven and eight, right? So I can do this very arm oriented and leave my body out of it, and the girl feels comfortable, right? It's not horrible. But if I want to engage my body a little bit more, one, two, three and four of five, six, seven and eight, definitely becomes more dynamic. I don't think it's easier, I quite think it's harder. But let's go back to basic 101. When we're discussing, this is generally where we get the question is, if we're dancing a very basic scenario, right, not to lead with my arms or shorten my arms. So if we're dealing with that, I think that tracking through the feet, being able to connect my weight moving through my feet becomes very important. And if I can cultivate that skill, then um, it's my body moving on top of my feet that my arm is connected to, right? And I don't have to rely upon my arm. But if I'm terrible at getting her to move through, or if I'm terrible at moving myself through my own feet, or uh, vice versa, if the girl is terrible at moving herself through her own, her own feet, then I'm gonna have trouble, and I'm gonna end up collecting this with my arm and then sending back from my arm. So if we go back to a basic scenario, we roll through our feet, and we're able to then not use our arms to generate that. Same thing with a right side pass. If I can roll through my feet and understand something as simple as, if I'm raising the hand, that's helping draw her towards me, then that'll be advantageous. So I think that the girls can work, the girls can help the boys by being able to roll through their feet, right? And if he leads with his arm, right, and jerks you quickly, he's basically asking you to come more quickly, right? So your ability to respond to that, right? So here I am, I'm the bag, I'm the jerk, quite literally, the jerk. But Megan looks reasonably fine because she's able to respond and basically speed up the process of moving her weight through her feet, right? So guys, try to roll back through your feet, not shortening your arm. A great practice is the left side pass. Uh, with my students, if they're blowing a left side pass, we've got some connection issues. If we can lead a left side pass and it's nice and comfortable, that's a good litmus test, right? If you watch our arms, there's not too much going on there because I physically have to use my body to keep connected away from her. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, right? It's not going to work very effectively if I use my arm in a left side pass. Again, it's a skill that I could cultivate. I could sit here and groove and left side pass and sit here and groove and left side pass. Don't put that on the internet. Um, but if I can basically move my body where it needs to be, 
then I'm in a much better situation to be leading with my body, not with my arms. Hopefully that's a little helpful, and we'll see you guys again soon.